Okay, so in the last episode we uh, got here to the what seemed to be the end point of Route 203. Um, I'm facing this generic last trainer about to do battle. So uh, let's do this. Exclamation mark above the head. I got a Nivdegin gym badge, gym badge from the gym leader in Orberg City. Cool story, sis. Tell me more. She just tells me her name. What kind of a moor is that, honestly? A Psyduck. It's a water type. So, uh, going at it with Piplove uh, might not be a great idea, but I'm going to do it anyway. Because I need to get some more experience. Piplove needs to get some more experience for the, um, for the, for the next gym. So I'm just going to pound away at it. I'm not going to bother with, um with bubble because it's the same type it's uh it's gonna be not very effective ah quick claw coming into effect good job not as lucky as I was in the last episode unfortunately but oh well and I'll be fine for this one there we go perfect so that's down 67 come on there we go, level 12. Right. Oh, I lost, la la la. You sound really, really, uh... Very, very upbeat, despite the fact that you lost. What does this say? If anyone is about to evolve, you can be instantly stopped. Press the B button, you can stopping. It can be cancelled. Oh, I, I want to evolve my Pokemon. I don't want to leave them as they were before. There's an X defend, just does the same as uh, an X attack, just it raises defense instead. And over here, we have a repel. Repels are infinitely useful in this game. You apply them and they will prevent wild Pokemon from appearing in the grass that are at a lower level than you. But I've chanced it somehow, and just as I say I've chanced it, I run into a Starly. Well, I'm gonna go heal up and then uh, and continue further. So that's my plan. So uh, see you when I've healed. Okay, so running past everyone because we fought ev everyone on this route so far. Hello, Shinx. I don't need you, so uh, I'm just gonna leave. Goodbye. Right. This sign right here says Warburg City that way. So uh let's go to Warburg City. Into the cave, into the Orberg Gate. Oh hello. What are you saying? That's sparkling new poker. Your your awkwardness as a traveller. Hmm, you're still a pretty new trainer, aren't you? But it's all good. You're a new fellow friend of Pokemon. So let me make a gift of this hidden machine to you. HMs are just like TMs, except they can be used an infinite number of times. But in a machine or HM, for sure, against the move Rock Smash. Pokemon learning Rock Smash can smash small boulders in the field, like this one that I'm pointing out right here. But the trainer has to have the gym badge for Warburg City. If you don't have that badge, you can't make a Pokemon use a hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. So unfortunately, we cannot smash those rocks just yet. And you can find wild Pokemon in caves. Hello, Zubat. I don't need you. I don't care about you. So, bye bye. You don't actually have to fight any of these trainers, you can just go around them, but I'm going to anyway. We just don't accept challenges anywhere, it's what we do. It's just how you roll. Starly. Pff, seen plenty of these already, so know that they're incredibly easy to defeat. And I don't have any attacks. Brilliant. Piplup's coming in. Don't use growl on me, you noob. I just have to use bubble. Oh, quick attack. Ooh, we got a badass over here. Is that all you can do? Come on.
And there we go, Starly is down. Average level 9, perfect. 42 experience points. What's next? Shinx! Okay. Let's take a look at how he's doing. That's good. What I'm glad about is that uh, my Abra has the, uh, I've just checked my Abra has the ability Synchronize, which makes it so that if it gets afflicted with a status condition, which is either being poisoned, being paralyzed, or, um, or being burnt, I think, um, it'll pass that onto the opponent. So that's very handy. I don't think sleep's there. I don't think it'll, it'll do it if it gets put to sleep, but I'm not entirely sure. Since Pip Pup switched out, uh, I was going to use Pound, but oh well, because Pound's more powerful. Oof. Ever so close to fainting, Shinx. Ever so close. It is done! Shinx is down. Insufficiently raised, you bet. Level 7. Pfft. Pathetic. There is the exit of the Orberg Gate, which we will go through soon, but uh, to celebrate you might go through this game, I'm going to battle you. I'm going to battle you too! And my computer is checking for new software, even though I didn't tell it to. I'm sitting at my desk recording this. Pish, didn't I? It's a level 9, baby doof! Part of the reason why I'm doing this accent is because it's just uh, an ode to one of the greatest Pokemon Let's Players ever. You know who you are. Baydoof! Oh, software updates are available for my computer. Show details. Digital camera raw compatibility to iPhoto 11. Yeah, okay, install. Oh, I've, I've missed some stuff. Oh, he missed with tackle. That's pathetic. There we go, update's done. Defense, Carl! Defense, noob! See how much bubble does. Oh, that was his speed, though. But I'm already faster than him. Or than her. So, uh, doesn't really make a difference. And he just keeps on using defense, Carl, so I'm just gonna keep on using bubble. I like the noise that uh, it plays when you use bubble. Of course there's bubbling noise. Why the hell is there a big, great big massive tractor outside my house, driving up the road, disturbing the peace? I don't know. Anyway, we've won that battle. Losing is something to commemorate to Defo. Defo, bruv, Defo. So now that we are done with the Orberg Gate, we have arrived in Orberg City, the city of energy. Let's go. Oh, hello. Howdy, trainer. Huh? Uh-oh, you don't have a single gym badge. You better do something about that. I'll take you to the Pokemon gym. Now, in Diamond and Pearl, he actually called you a noob for not... Well, not a noob, but he mentioned that people are going to um, see you as a noob for not having a single gym badge. And I'm really sad that they took, uh, took that line out. But, huh? There's someone there. Who could that be? Let's go talk to him. Oh, it's James. Oh, it's you, Jim. You finally got here. You're slow, like always. But anyway, the gym leader's tough. Wait, like, zero serious. Seriously serious? Really? Yeah, the gym leader's this tough. I wonder how he compares to my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the mine. All right. Let's go to the mine. I think because the wild Pokemon down in the mine are slightly stronger than the ones on Route 203. I might just battle them for some more experience. Just cause. So, uh... I don't think I'll bother healing just yet. Some things we can get over here, though. In this mining area. If we go up here... There are a couple of things right here. There's a yellow shard right here, which can be uh, exchanged for stuff later in the game. Over here, there is a dire hit, which increases... Um... I believe the critical hit ratio. Um, I'm not entirely sure on that. If you press A here, 
there is a heart scale, which is a very valuable item that can be used for quite useful purpose later on in the game. But uh, that's just about all there is in this uh, this mining area. So let's look around a bit. What else have we got? Anything on there? Nope. Okay. And that right down there is a machop. We fought fought one of them on uh, on Route 203, if you remember. Oh, but mine, but we're a busy Pokemon. I will. Don't worry. So here we are. We get this really, really nice music as well. Go underneath the rail, and we find a wild Pokemon. No, we were meant to... We're going to go out that, get that item, but we didn't get the opportunity to. Zubat! Let's switch out to the plop. Oh, supersonic. It's a really inaccurate move, but when it does hit, it confuses you. When you're confused, there is a 50% chance that you will attack yourself and hurt yourself. Which is really annoying. There we go. I did. That's good. Is that all I did? <laughs> Stupid Zuka. You supersonic twice. Oh, I snapped out of confusion already. How nice. Not that much experience at all. If only Abra actually had an attack. If I was playing Diamond, per Diamond and Pearl, I would, uh, instead of that potion in the trainer school back in Jubilife City, you would get uh, TM10, Hidden Power. There's a Pokeball right there. And Hidden Power's um, type varies on the Pokemon you teach it to. And I would have uh, I would have used that uh, instead of uh, having to constantly switch. But anyway, down here there's this massive piece of coal that they've mined out. Which must have taken freaking forever. Oh, it's a Geodude. Rock and ground type. Actually, I reckon that if I do manage to uh, knock this thing out, Abra should hopefully gain another level. So I'll do that. Mud Sport. That weakens Electra's electric type moves. Electricity powers we can there we go. And Bubble is four times effective against Geodudes because both rock and ground are weak to water. That's very handy. There we go, level ten. Alright. What we have to do is we have to go to Well, we can pick up a potion right here. Because you know, we can, you can never have too many potions. We go to the. <sighs> Onyx. Actually, this one's kind of a high level. This might be worth taking out too. Bring it on, Onyx. Bring it on. Bring it on. Bring it on, Onyx. Okay, I'm. Uh, I'm getting melodramatic. I'm sorry. Use bubble on this thing because it's also a rock and ground type, and I just shook my desk, so the camera probably just shook as well. No problem. Onyx is quite fast, uh, despite the fact they're rock and ground type, so don't underestimate their speed. And Onyxes typically yield quite a bit of experience points as well, so that's good. Now, here is the gym leader, Roark. And a very bad pun on rock R O A R K, but oh well. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hidden move Rock Smash, a boulder blocking your way. <laughs> Fallen boulders need to be smashed, they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you'd be able to do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. So, we have to battle him. So, let's go do that. Come on, I thought I was going to make it through the whole room without running into a wild Pokemon. Oh, level 9. That's good. Let's give this one a go. This might be a good place to train up uh, a good place to train up a water type. Uh, if you are having trouble with your levels against uh, against the gym leader cuz you know, as I say, the Pokémon in here can reach uh, can reach quite the high levels. I think they can be up to level 10. And wow, Bubble didn't even take it out. That's surprising. Okay. <coughs> 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 Longer 
Greatest throat clearing ever. Right. There we go, Piplup level 13. Right, let's exit this place. Run up the stairs. There we go. And I will go and heal up before we take to the gym. Alright, so over here in the gym, which is just to the west of the Pokemon Center, as you can see, we shall enter. And I think against these, um, these trainer battles here, I am going to do some switch training with Abra, just to see if it can evolve. Anyway, what's this guy got to say? Howdy! What's up, man? You saying howdy like someone from the south? How's it going, champ to be? This is going to be his accent from now on simply because he says howdy. That's what I said to a really impatient boy earlier too. The gym leader is a used to rock type Pokemon. Well listen, rock type Pokemon really hate water alright. They're all so weak to grass type moves. Gee they sure have weaknesses. But don't think it will be easy son. You don't get to be a gym leader without covering for weaknesses. Going after a rock type Pokemon with a fire type Pokemon won't be easy either. That's all the advice I can give. Thanks for listening. Screw you, that took forever. Anyway. Yeah, that is going to be his accent from now on. Sally isn't really going to get any action in this. It's just going to be Abra and Piplup. You avoided the long way around? Let's see why you do that. Because I want the experience, duh! God, some people. So strange. Hey, it's a Geodude. But it's level 11! Oh! Oh! We have a badass Geodude over here. Level 11. This should get Abra another level. And I keep on spitting on the screen. Maybe I should, like, put my pop screen on my tripod when I'm commentating, just so that I don't, you know. So I don't spit on my uh, DS screen, but. I don't know. I'm surprised Bubble didn't take out that Geodude in the, uh... There we go. I wonder why it didn't take out that one in the thingy. Oh well. There we go, level 11 for Abra. And 85 experience points for Peplop as well. Youngster Jonathan, that was one of the easiest things ever. Who's this kid? Let's see. Let's find out. Only those who want to win can challenge a Pokemon gym. That rhymes. Youngster Darius or Darius or whatever. Go, Abra! Level 9 Geodude. Pfft. Easy as peas. Oh, Defense Curl. We got a badass over here. She's bubble. Like we always do. And the quick core has been activated. That's good as well. It's super effective. 69 experience points. Hurdy her her. Hubbity dur. Onyx. Onyx yields quite a bit of experience. So I'm hoping that. Ooh, I don't know, it might do. Abra might level up from this, because I've just checked, Abra needs 148 experience points. But actually, no, I don't think it is. No, I don't think I'll get enough. Oh well. It will do at some point. Defense rise, eh? That doesn't matter because I'm using a special based attack, you know? Easy as peas. No, I didn't quite get enough. I think for Roark's first two Pokemon, I will do some switch, switch training for Abra. But up here is Roark, and so, before we start, I am going to save my game, simply because if 
I fail, I can just turn off the DS and I can restart. This video is going to be a bit longer than the last ones because I am doing this battle. I was planning on doing it for the next episode, but I thought, nah, let's just do it in this one. Let's go for it. Welcome, this is the Orberg Pokemon Gym. I'm Rock, the gym leader, but I'm one. I'm but one trainer who decided to walk proudly with Rock-type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer, and I need to see the toughness of the Pokemon that battle with you. Bring it on! Roark. Right, so, my plan is for his last Pokemon, since it's tougher than his first two, is to uh, simply start with Piplup straight away. But he's got a standard Geodude to start off with, so... Abra can get a bit of this. In goes Piplup. Stealth Rock, ooh. That's a bit annoying. Because now whenever I switch in, the Pokemon that switches in will get hurt by the, by the rocks. So I'll have to be wary of, uh, of both Piplup and Abra. But if Abra gets enough experience off this, I may just keep with Piplup, just so uh, Abra doesn't get hurt. Level 12, nice! Level 14 for Piplop. Nice! You know, Onyx does give quite a bit of experience, so I will switch into Abra, but I'll just be wary of, you know, the, the consequences of it getting hurt. Let's see how hurt it gets. Ah, oh, it's not too bad at all. Never mind. Crisis averted. Uh, let's switch back into Piplop! I like saying it like that. Sorry. Alright. Screech? Ah, it missed. Screech is a very annoying move. You know how uh, Growl reduces your attack? Screech does that, but it decreases your defense instead two times. So it basically halves your defense, Screech, which is very annoying. Ah, dear. Maybe I should switch into a sacrificial Pokemon because I do not want my defense to be lowered like that for Roark's, um, for Roark's next Pokemon, because it is, it has a really high, oh, you know, Roark's third Pokemon has a really high attack stat, and I don't want my defense to be low for it, basically. There we go, Bubbles taking it out. And let's see how many experience points we get from that. 138, lovely. Ah, some good experience. Cranidos, right. Simply because of what's happened to Piplup's defense, I am going to switch out. But I think I'm going to switch out to a sacrifice. And I'm going to switch out to B Doof. When the stone's dug into B Doof, I don't care, it's a flipping beaver. I think I can, yeah. But not with, uh, with B Doof. Mold Breaker, basically. It's an ability which, which negates the effects of any ability that the opponent has. I'm going to see if I can use a potion on... Uh, sh uh, should I use it on Piplop? I don't know. Um... Should I... Nah, I'm just going to switch straight back into Pit, but although it could get hit with an attack. This is a bit wasteful, but I'm going to use a potion. So Pit Block's back up to full health. And Bidu's probably gone. Yep. So we won't get any experience from this. Should I send an Abra to get some experience? No. Better take this opportunity to just send Pit Block in so that it... Hopefully Piplop can attack first, but I don't exactly know. And there's pointed stones here, that's why I wanted to heal up. There we go, Crit Claw! That's the will to live! And all it did was that. Now Headbutt. Cranidice has a very high attack stat, as you saw from how much damage that did. And this is gonna do. Oh! Crap. That was incredible. Oof, right. I need to play a sacrifice move. Or maybe not a sacrifice move, but I need to heal that. I need to heal that Piplup. 
So my point of call is probably going to be Abra. Simply because I do want it to get some experience. It may get knocked out, but we'll see. Right, it probably will, because it's got, like, very low defense. Yeah, that was really stupid. Alright. Starley's going to have to come out and do the job. That Kranos' high defense is very annoying. Hopefully Starley can hang in there. Not going to happen. Really, my only hope now is that I either go first and he doesn't use a potion, or he does use a potion, and then the quick lot activates on the next turn, because by the way this is going... He probably will use a potion, but by the way this is going, I'm going to have to heal. Oh, he didn't use a potion! How lucky is that? Snap, son. That was the stupidest move ever, but it's good for me. Pivot block grid level 15. Peck. Peck is a flying type move, and they only put this on Piplup because of the next gym, which is a grass type gym, and um, you know, water sport is stupid, so I'm going to get rid of that. Piplup learned Peck, lovely, and we defeated Leader Roar. What? That can't be! My buffed up Pokemon! And we get 1,680 for winning, that's a nice hefty bit of cash. This is embarrassing! I went and lost to a trainer who didn't have a single gym badge. But that's tough, you were strong- well, You are the first gym leader, so anyone who challenges you will have no gym badges. So unfortunately. You were strong and I was weak, that's all there is. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you our gym badge since you've beaten me, the leader. Here's your official Pokemon League call badge. Julian, receive the call badge from Rock. Woo! And that call badge means your Pokemon can now use the hidden move Rock Smash outside of battle. You should also take this too. And we got TM76, which is... TM76, Stealth Rock. It's a move that inflicts damage on foes that switch into battle. Incidentally, it is, it is, yes, I know this, I know this, I know that, I know that, I know that. We are done. So, what does he have to say? Oh, Julian, you've taken care of the gym leader. So did my advice come into use or what? If my advice was useful, it'd be great if you'd become my fan. No. So, we got quite a bit done this episode. I think uh, we're going to save uh, exploring uh, the rest of the storyline, which means going back to Jubilife City for the next episode. But for now, I'm going to go heal and I will... See you in the next episode.